What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? What is popping? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Yes, indeed, I am back at it again to let the divine masculine know what is going on with him for this weekend, April the 27th and the 28th. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, what is going on with you? I hope you guys have had a fabulous week and have an even more fabulous, awesome weekend. Um, shout out to all my new subscribers. What's going on? What's going on with you? Thank you so much for all the love and support. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with scorpion red tarot all you got to do is go on over to that about tab on my youtube page all right you'll see a couple links there and the first thing you need to do is book and then link okay book and then link up with me okay so the first thing you need to do is click my booking link which is scorpion red tarot at simply book me again at scorpion red tarot at simply book me go ahead and select the type of reading that you want and then double back on over to that about tab on my youtube page and then link up with me um you will see a link from my instagram on there where you can send me a message and um you know, on your scheduled day or time, or if I could squeeze you in earlier, we'll connect back on there to do the video chat, all right? So we can have a face-to-face -face interaction and have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm um, reading. Now, um, if you don't have Instagram or don't want to connect on Instagram, you do have the option of use, using my email, which is scorpion excuse me, scorpionreds at gmail.com, and you can send me a message on um, Google Hangouts, okay? And, you know, that, that way it's more private. Some people don't want you all on their Instagram page and stuff like that. Respect, I get you. You can just send me a message on Google Hangouts using my email, again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And we can link there. If you do not want to do a face-to-face -face video reading, I typically only do video readings um, because I feel like it's a, a better way for us to connect and, you know, get in tune with each other. However, I do have an option. There's an add-on in the menu for the bookings um, where you can pay ten dollars additional and you can just get a private upload to YouTube if you don't feel comfortable with getting on camera for some reason because um, I do from time to time have people that either because they're international it's just easy to do the video upload and that's another thing for the people that are international we have problems now a lot of people they hook up with me on um whatsapp and things like that but if you don't want to do all that if that's causing too much of an issue there's also, you know, the private upload to YouTube. So, you know, you guys can feel free to select that option as well. Just keep in mind, you won't be able to go back and forth with me like we would if we were on a face-to-face -face reading. So, you know, just keep that in mind. If there's anyone that would like to send some love to the page, as you can see, all of these decks have built, 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 built. Um, I actually have a product line that's going to be coming out soon. So I don't know if you can see these. Um, this is my Oshun Spray. This is my um, spirit, spirituality, purification, and healing spray here. And then um, this is my rose water. And I use the fuck out of my rose water. And as you can see, it's a, you know, it got a little murky and stuff like that now. Because I haven't been using it for a good little while. Um, yeah, so all of that love and stuff that you guys send to the page. It helps me purchase more decks, put more into um, the page, and then also it's helping me with um, the other ventures that I have coming out. So very, very soon, you guys, will, and this is my baby right here. My Oshun Spritz, honey. Listen, honey, you just be walking around smelling like a whole offering basket, okay? Anyway, listen, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get into the reading, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know how I'm about my coffee. Hold on, y'all. Mm mm. Mm mm. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the divine masculine. Thank you, thank you so much for bringing us our big, strong, tough, brilliant-minded men. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for elevating our kings. Thank you for elevating our kings, Father God. These men have been going through a huge transition, Father God, and I mean a huge transition. A lot of them are breaking free, are taking their power back, and I mean, like, they going through a divine, like, what divine feminine w went through last year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they kicking in the door, waving in the fo fo. You know what I'm saying? They they taking their power back. They are taking their power back, and they are stepping into their roles as a divine masculine. And they are really thriving, and they are really jumping through hurdles and overcoming obstacles. And I don't know about nobody else, but I'm proud because 
even if my divine masculine isn't for me as long as you know what well, if he listen if he if he wasn't for me then clearly that wasn't my divine masculine but the person from my past if he's not for me i'm just happy that he's bettering himself for the future to be a good man for somebody else and i rest easy with that and Ladies, a lot of us have to come to the point in this divine feminine uh, process as well as the men going through their journey in their divine masculine process where we're learning to just accept and appreciate things for the way that they are right now and just pray for them and wish the best for them. You know what I'm saying? Because that shows true maturity. That shows true healing. If you're not at that point where you can't accept the experience for what it is or what it was trying to teach you and wish blessings over the person regardless if they hurt you or not you know what I'm saying trust me they hurt their self too when they hurt you if you cannot pray for this person and wish them the best you need to go a little bit further in your journey of healing and divine feminine has been going through that journey and divine masculine is going through that journey as well and to where as though we might have experienced this last year, ladies. The men are just now going through this phase. They are they are going through a self-love phase right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them are just now giving themselves space to really just be alone and work on some deep stuff inside, doing that shadow work, finding out why they do the things they do, how they got where they got, where they want to go, who am I? You see what I'm saying? So... Father God, thank you so much for this transition because it is a miraculous breakthrough because a lot of these men kind of thought that they would kind of be stuck in this way forever. But no, a lot of them are waking up and like, no, nah, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So thank you. Thank you for this moment of rest and rejuvenation, Father God. Thank you for the awakening. Thank you for the transition and the growth. Ashes and ashes and dust to dust to that old person that we used to be. And we're saying hello to new blessings, new life, new love, prosperity and abundance in the highest fashion, in the highest form. Thank you so much, Father God, for that blessing. Please give us guidance for the divine masculine for Saturday the 27th and Sunday the 28th. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the love and light that you've been giving us. Thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance for the divine masculine. Mm. Mm. Let's start out with... I should have changed my decks up, but I didn't even think about it. Give me guidance for the divine masculine. Let's just get some twin flame oracle guidance in regards to where the divine masculine is right now this weekend. Give me guidance in regards to how the divine masculine is feeling this weekend, April the 27th, right? Yes. On the 28th. Give me guidance for the divine masculine. Oh. Spirit realm, orbs of light. And earn morning. All right. Hmm. Like I said, I'm trying to tell you the divine masculine is going through circles completion. Mm-hmm. They've closed some chapter. They 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 completed a cycle and they're they're just looking back and they're mourning a lot of things that was done. Three 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 Trinity mind body and soul. You are in the zone. Express your true authentic self. Yeah. Yep, they're going through a mind, body, and soul freaking transitional experience right now. They're feeling things on a different level. And I really do think that the Divine Masculine um, has been seeing, you know, what is this? Egg incubation. Eggs. Okay. Something might be growing there. And you know that they've been saying a lot that the divine masculines, a lot of divine masculines are expecting children. So that might have something to do with those eggs. Okay. And what is this? Eyes revealing. I feel like they're not ready to look someone in the eyes yet. Someone. 
if they're mourn they're mourning something over. They're not ready to look someone in the eyes because they know that this person possesses a hidden knowledge. Okay? This person might be like on some high priestess level or something and they know that this person if they're mourning something over that they completed a uh they completed a cycle. They Divine Masculine just recently completed a cycle. They've been seeing the orbs of light. Like I said, they are elevating spiritually. They're going through their Divine Masculine um, journey. And through that, they're having to look back at things in the past that hurt other people and inadvertently hurt them too. They completed a chapter. They completed a cycle. And right now, they're experiencing things on a you know 3D level, mind, body, and soul. They are completely in the zone. They're focusing on eggs right now. Something that is in incubation. And there's someone that they're not ready to look this person in the eyes because they know that this person has hidden knowledge. Hidden knowledge. Then this is Ivy clinging. This is someone that they're clinging to. This is someone that they're clinging to. Like Ivy. It says names, energy alignment. Whoever the name is that's on these keys right here, that's on these keys, because these are, no, these are, what the heck is this? Some type of dice game. I don't know what the hell type of game this is. Whatever name that is associated with this game here, Divine Masculine feels like y'all's energy is not aligned. But however, they want to cling to you like Ivy. They want to cling to you like Ivy. I feel like the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine, this spiritual journey has unrooted a lot of shit within them. You know what I'm saying? Like they almost had to go to the graveyard and dig out shit from the past and face it. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that they didn't want to deal with and they just wanted to bury it and just keep it moving. Like, no, this shit. Is on your heart and your mind and your soul a lot. And right now, spirit is guiding them to dig up them old skeletons. And you need to, like, you know, you need to face it. Because there's something that is the divine masculine is mourning and hurting real bad about. I feel like there's a lot of sorrow in the divine masculine's heart about something. And I feel like divine masculine has been tripping because... They've been seeing all of these little signs like orbs of light and feathers and like butterflies and like little shit. Like what it, something they're seeing something on a spiritual realm that makes them think of somebody that they mourn over. And they, they miss them and they think about the experience here and it brings us a lot of sadness and pain. Okay. I feel like they were spiritually guided to complete these circles here it, it it was something that the divine masculine kept going over kept going through over and, over and over and over and over and over and over again it was cycles and these orbs of light this spiritual push forced them to dig up whatever this shit was that was in that graveyard and complete these cycles and close these circles you know what i'm saying and because they did that and that's what they're doing. I don't. I, I feel like that is what divine masculine is doing right now. I really do feel like a, a, a like divine masculine has has been to itself a lot, incubating, you know. And if it's not the fact that divine masculine know that you know something is incubating that he's going to have to take care of, it might just be that he's in the incubation stage himself, you know, because. It's like a rebirth stage, you know, like he's in his shell, he's in his shell. Okay, so if, if, if Divine Masculine, if you feel like you've been kind of shelled off a little bit, like closed off and you, you've been in your shell, you're incubating, you know what I'm saying? You're baking, you're getting yourself ready to kind of like break through and come out again. You're on like some Phoenix Rising shit right now, Okay. Shout out to my man Phoenix, okay? One of my divine masculines that always be in the chat. Shout out to my man Phoenix. You know who you are, boo. Shout out to you, boo. West Coast, West West. Anyway, like I said, you guys are incubating right now. 
Trinity, mind, body, and soul, you are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. They are baking. They're getting themselves ready to come out to really, truly be who they are so they can look this person in their eyes like seriously because... They know if they if they face this person, only thing this person has to do is look them in their eyes and they can tell if they're lying, they can tell if they're not sincere. They can tell because this person that they that they mourn over, they have a hidden knowledge. They have a certain gift, they have a certain power. They are like a, the pearl of the sea. You see what I'm saying? They will be able to see right through you. And right the, right now the divine masculine, they're still going through their healing process and what they need to go through. They're not ready to look this person in the eyes because they know that they'll be able to see right through them. But the Divine Masculine, I feel like they've been seeing this person's name all over the place. You know what I'm saying? This person's name, it says names, energy alignment. I feel like the Divine Masculine has been seeing this person's name all over the place mysteriously. Like I said, the, the, the orbs of light. Like, they've been getting signs and things like that. That is leading them back to whoever this person is that they're mourning over. Because they want this person in their life. They want each other to cling to each other like ivy. And I believe that they want to say this person's name once again. They want to be able for that name to be part of their vocabulary on a consistent daily basis. Like, they don't want to play any games anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to play these games anymore. However, um, they don't feel like the energy is aligned. Did I hit that on the head, y'all? Because I feel like that's accurate as fuck for a lot of people right there. Like, good gracious spirit. Like, you, you, you clocked that. But one thing I must say, the bomb masculine, I'm proud as hell of you. Because I told y'all the Divine Masculine has changed and has closed a lot of cycles. Like, a lot of these Divine Masculines, they are looking at themselves, all of that King of, I mean, that um, Knight of Wands in reverse energy type of shit. Page of Wands energy type of shit. Cup, uh, uh, Knight of Cups energy in reverse type of shit. They are growing the fuck up. And they are starting to realize that them being like that has brought them a lot of unhappiness something that they're mourning over and that's why they're like man fuck all of these damn me keep going around in circles with the same bullshit they tired they are tired of their bullshit you understand what I'm saying? like have you ever been tired of your own bullshit before they are tired of their own bullshit and they're ready for a change my body and soul it's like it's an internal thing it's not it's not nobody else it's them overcoming difficulties divine masculine is overcoming these difficulties right now they is waving in the door, busting in the faux faux. All you heard was Papa don't hit me no more. They are not playing. They are going to try up over this difficult time right now, okay? Um, it says, the worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. This is the center energy for you guys. Overcoming difficulty. So we're going to put that right there because I love that energy. God, divine masculine, I fucking love y'all. I'm so proud. Like, I'm sorry. Like, and I and I know a lot of divine feminines is like, Look, girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Is you on our side or you on their side? I want both of y'all side. I want both of y'all to win, bruh. I don't even care if y'all. And, 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 and this is the thing. Who cares if y'all ever see each other again or get back together again? As long as, and a lot of people, they are stuck on this twin flame bullshit. Y'all please unsubscribe to that shit. Unsubscribe. Do not subscribe to that foolishness. Okay? No one that truly loves you is going to keep running from you. That is not true love. Some people are truly in your life for you guys to go through a journey. You know what I'm saying? To grow each other up. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you could be a better person for somebody else. No matter how much you love this person, if that's not your person, that's not your person. And that doesn't lessen the experience that y'all had together in y'all union. Y'all union, it was what it was. And I'm pretty sure as much painful as it was, they appreciate what you taught them and you appreciate them for, but because you would not be where you are right now, Divine Masculine, if it wasn't for, you know, 
the divine feminine or the person and that, these are just the labels and i say this shit because these are the labels that y'all use nowadays whatever you understand what i'm saying but i'm just letting y'all know if y'all never see each other again be okay with that as long as you know that you come into this person's life sparked this person to grow up and be a better man because this person thinks back and they mourn you and they realize that they lost someone that is that was the light of their life and they might know listen i've i've gone through these cycles and i closed these chapters and i and i did the growing that i needed to do but this person is so far far gone you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes once these men or these women, and sometimes these men be going through shit with these little crazy ass, little chicken head ass women. By the time these people get their self together and finally come to realization and they overcome whatever difficult stage, you are already so far gone. You not even looking back to see what this person is doing or something like that. And whatever you did to create that spark and that change in their life, you just happy that they changed. And that's being mature. That's being balanced. That's really being spiritually guided. You don't sit back and, and, and oh, my divine feminine ain't going to come back to me, my divine man. No, you do what you need to do for you. And if that's what God means for it to be, it's, it's going to be that. And can't not, nothing or nobody change that. The Ten of Cups. Okay? Contentment and joy. If that's what it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. You feel me? What does it say? Judgment. Karma review. All right. What is this? The magician in reverse. Someone using their using their 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 tool, their magnetic attraction, their charisma, their personality, their sex appeal for the wrong fucking things. For the wrong fucking things. The high priestess. I told you I was dealing with a high priestess. Someone could see through that. And they realized that, you know, this person even though there's contentment and emotional fulfillment there and there's something that ain't right because I feel like this person is using their power to manipulate me. You know? And what is this? Temperance in reverse. All right? Yeah. You know? So this is the thing. Like I said, In regards to the divine masculine, the divine masculine wants, they do at this point, I don't know if the divine masculine wanted marriage and shit like that back then, but they've been thinking about that shit. They want marriage in a solid, like, I feel, I see the divine masculine, like, honestly, sitting back picture, whoever this person is that they're mourning over this person, they sit back and they look. In a picture in their head, like them walking down the beach, getting married. You know what I'm saying? Where is this at? It looks like they're outside somewhere under the clouds, like getting married. You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy because, like, I always used to say to my ex, I used to be like, we going to go to Jamaica. We going to get married in the beach. I want henna. Um, on my hands and my feet and we gon' and ain't nobody gonna have shoes on we're gonna be walking through the white sand and I'm gonna have like a white lace um outfit on with this pretty long veil and that looks like exactly <laughs> you know what I'm saying like at the end of the day I feel like if the divine masculine they never thought about a true commitment on that level. Them really finding happiness for some reason. I don't think that the divine masculine in the past saw happiness and just being with one person forever. But now I feel like they are able to acknowledge a love like that. And that's why they went through this judgment phase. Like they're having to answer for a lot of things. You know, and they're having to face their karma for a lot of things. And that's why they are truly going through something right now. Where they're like, you know, if I, whereas I was trying to lie to myself and say that I didn't want this level of commitment before, that wasn't, that wasn't good judgment on my, you know what I'm saying, on my part, because I do deserve that. And that's why they went through this change in this life review where they're looking 
at everything that they were putting out into the universe and doing a karma adjustment because if they want this type of commitment this type of love and this type of fulfillment to come to them you as above so below as above so below karma review as above so below you know what I'm saying? What you put out, you get right back. And that is the true lesson. And that is the responsibility of the magician. In a traditional tarot deck, you see that infinity sign over top of the magician head. Because that means what you put out, you get back. You can't have this magical power and abuse it. And just because, oh, I'm a, I'm a magician, I can just... Like teleport myself in the bank, grab all the money and jewels and shit that I want and tele teleport myself in Belize and just get away with it for forever. And I got this mystical power. No one can catch me. So, you know, like it's like, no, just because you have the ability to manipulate people and to conjure and maneuver and do things to your will and your way to get what you want. That don't mean that you just use your power for any fucking thing. And that was something that the Divine Masculine, listen, they had to have a serious karma review about that shit. Because I feel like karma came around and spanked that ass. Okay? Karma came around and spanked that ass. And now the Divine Masculine realized they want to be on the right side of karma. And this is where I was wrong. Judgment. This is where I was wrong. And I feel like the Divine Masculine is humbly coming to God on bending knee. Almost with tears in his eyes, crying, like humbly saying, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Well, I can't stop saying that, God. I, I keep, I, my, from the pit of my stomach, I keep wanting to keep, wanting, keep repeating that. A high priestess. I feel like the divine masculine knew all along that the person that they were dealing with had this hidden knowledge. It's just say hidden knowledge, hidden knowledge. They only say hidden knowledge of their hidden knowledge. They did some. They knew deep in that the person that they were dealing with was the pearl of the fucking sea. That this person had a spiritual awareness and a hidden knowledge of just about spirit, universe, karma, uh, the laws of attraction, everything, everything. I feel like this person. And I feel like that's why they were the ivy to them. Because the Divine Masculine wanted to cling to this person because of their knowledge. I felt like it enriched them. I feel like the woman, their Divine Feminine, this person that they mourn over, this person was like their goddess almost. Like this person, I want to say the Divine Masculine almost worships this person in a, not, not in, in, in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? Because you shouldn't worship nobody but the highest of all high. What I'm saying is, it's something about this woman and her ability to see through shit, clock stuff, her intuition, her ability to read energies. And I feel like this woman warned the Divine Masculine of a lot of things. It was a lot of tele, um, telepathic communication in this relationship where it was a lot of unsaid things like maybe... This woman could just read him. He didn't have to say much. You know what I'm saying? And then she didn't have any problem with correcting this person. She could see right through this person. You see what I'm saying? So it didn't matter what this person tried to do to get over. This person, this high priest is seen right through that shit. And that's why until this man gets this... Correctly, because that is truly the magician and the high priestess. They are each other's. Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all cousins calling y'all. My bad, you guys. But um, these two are like husband and wife of the spiritual realm. They're each other's equal, the high priestess and the magician. You understand? Only difference is she's always been at her level. She's pushing you.
to recognize the power within you and learn how to use it appropriately. But the high priestess don't give a fuck. Either you get it or you don't. She is withdrawn. She don't have no problem with secluding herself and being by herself. She don't need or want for nothing. You understand? People come to her seeking guidance and help. You see what I'm saying? So this is someone that is possibly withdrawn from the divine masculine right now because this woman sees right through this person. Okay? And she don't entertain bullshit because whatever the fuck you try to come to her with, she's going to put the karma right in front of your motherfucker face to make you eat it. So she's a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> she's a hard pill to swallow. You can't come to her with just anything. The chariot in reverse. That's why the divine masculine right now, he doesn't know how to push forward in regards to this situation with this high priestess. Okay, because he know I can't move forward to approach this person until I emotionally get my shit all the way together. Okay? Because I'm going to hurt myself even coming around her because she going to break me down. Like I think my chariot broke right now. Oh, she going to break me right the fuck on down. Okay? And I don't think he's ready to face that. He's not ready to face that. His horses are not strong enough to carry him that distance. All right. He still has a lot of tempering to do. He has a lot more spiritual cleansing and, you know, having to get chakras balanced. He needs to take a deep bath in those spiritual pools of uh, wisdom and spirituality. The saint lesson. You know, the high priestess was born and birthed under that spiritual pool under the moon. So maybe you need to go back to the moon, okay? You need to go back to the moon, Divine Masculine, and find out what is hidden. What is beneath? What are you scared of? What are the fears? What is the insecurities? What, what lies beneath? And you need to face that. You need to face that. You truly need to face that. Let's move. I'm just moving all around however I feel fit today. Let's let's jump into love and see what's popping off. But <laughs> Divine Masculine is seeing those orbs of light. And for some reason, I really, really do feel like the Divine Masculine is single. Because to go through something like this, you have to have space to be alone. To focus. To go through this self journey you know what i'm saying you need that alone time and i feel like the divine masculine right now is like possibly secluding himself he's probably you know embodying some of that high priestess you know energy right now and keeping himself out you know the fall all right i feel like hmm Karmic partner in reverse. I feel like he met that karmic partner last fall and he regrets it and he's not with this karmic partner no more. He's muted this person. He don't even want to see this person's face. Mirroring. They're mirroring each other's energy right now. This is about a karmic partner that they're with. It's like they just broke up with somebody and they muted this person. They're mirroring each other's energy and they're trying to come to some type of compromise. There's no sense of nostalgia there in that relationship. Wow. I don't even feel like the Divine Masculine even thinks about this person in the 11th way. He regrets meeting this person last fall. He don't want to see this person. <laughs> God damn. I feel like this person that they met last fall... This karmic partner that they resent this person because they feel like this person interfered in their relationship with the person that they really loved. And the divine masculine is telling me right now with this moon in the reverse that they didn't use their intuition with this person. And they regret meeting them last fall. So this is someone that they met last fall. I'm hearing like late October, early November, something like that. September, October, November. Something around that time. 
and it destroyed everything. And hindsight is twenty twenty. I feel like this person wouldn't have even had lunch with this motherfucker had they known that things was going to come out the way that it is right now because they don't even want to fucking see this person. I feel like the divine masculine might have blocked this woman because this is a woman. They've muted this person. They don't even want to see this person's face. I don't even think that they think that this person is attractive anymore. They don't want to see them. I feel like their face is just, it, it, it sends something, it sends them something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They feel like this person is a, a, is a negative reflection of who they were. And every time they see this person or talk to this person, it angers them because the divine masculine isn't that person. Like the divine masculine has changed. The divine masculine has changed. He really has fucking changed. And every time he deals with this person, it reminds him of when he was like this. And it's a, it's, it's, it's a mirror of everything that he's done to fuck his life up. And he can't stand this person. He does not want to be with this person. He does not want to see this person. This person is a mirror, is a negative reflection of all of the mistakes that they've made. But for some reason, they have to compromise with this person. They have to come to some type of compromise with this person. But there's no love there. This person can't dangle love o over the divine masculine's heart. I mean, over there, over there, um, in their face. Divine Masculine, there's no sense of nostalgia there. Like, there's nothing there that attaches them to this person. But they feel like there's a compromise. And like I said, if there is, um, if some of the Divine Feminines, if you know for a fact that your Divine Masculine has a, you know, an egg in the basket right now. You know what I'm saying? That they got an egg that's about to be hatched or some shit like that that's coming. That's that compromise. It's that compromise that they're having to deal with someone that they don't even have any sense of love or emotion for. And every time they look at this person, it is a mirror of all of the mistakes that they made within they, when they were in. And they don't even want to see this motherfucker's face, but they have to compromise with someone that they don't even fucking love. And it was a karmic situation that they regret ever getting themselves into last fall. Y'all feel me? This situation showed the Divine Masculine what true love is. What true commitment is. And now they're like, no, I will. I, I can't see myself marrying this, this person from my past. I had to go through the fucking storm and deal and face with my karma. All the bullshit that I was creating. All of the bullshit that I was creating. From someone against someone that knows me better than I know my fucking self. Someone that knows me better than I know my motherfucking self. That knows I was not emotionally mature enough to deal with her. But she still helped me and tried to help me grow. And help me try to see the divine masculine that I truly am within myself. But I wasn't ready. I was bullshitting. And guess what? Bullshitters, they get bullshit. And that's exactly what you did. You went and you lowered yourself because you wasn't able to look this person in the eye. You wasn't able to face this high priestess. Because you was the magician. You were, you were operating out of your low registry. You see what I'm saying? That's what you was operating at. You was not able to face her. So you ran out there and dealt with someone of your own kind. And now you're looking right at your own. You're looking at the treachery and whatever heartbreak or whatever pain or whatever. Like I said, you was operating in that low registry and that magician in reverse. You met a high priestess in reverse. You see what I'm saying? You met someone that was someone of your own kind that was operating on that same registry as you. And now you can't stand this bitch. You don't even want to see her because it's a negative reflection of everything that you were and you hate it. Hmm. Black truck, ganja. Uh. Let me get a sip of some coffee. Hold on, y'all. We have to dig in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
don't even know why I put this up because Divine Masculine kicked in the door and waved in the fofo on, on the Divine Feminine's read. And like, y'all was, yeah, cause y'all must really be mourning and thinking about the Divine Feminine a lot. Because when I'm trying to tell you, y'all kicked in the door. It was all present. Like, hold on. Um, hold on. How did Kanye West, uh, interrupt Taylor Swift? Was like, oh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but, um, Beyonce was the greatest of all times. Like, girl, like, that's the way he, he came and kicked in on Divine Feminine goddamn reading like you know what i'm saying like excuse me i don't know what the fuck y'all talking about over here but um yeah don't be telling her about no new niggas or no new loves because i'm the greatest of all time and i'm getting my shit together and i'm sorry but i'm coming back for the remix like that's how they did i was like oh you disrespecting you disrespectful okay all coming up in our goddamn reading what was this i'm not the same person that you will that you remember we will be together again soon divine masculine is that what the fuck you telling your divine feminine i am not the same person i tell you what i'm trying to tell y'all divine masculine he is going through his divine masculine experience right now honey he is going through his divine masculine experience right now give me one more from this deck how does the divine masculine feel what does it say my heart is telling me to just do it. So you guys, it seems like the divine masculine might just jump out there and just do it and just go and try his hand and just go and approach his true love. Because I just, I just, woo, I just felt something. I, f I feel like he's very nervous about approaching her because he feels like she's going to be able to see right through him. Please give me guidance in regards to the Divine Masculine. What he's currently feeling in regards to this person that he got on mute. I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. This is the person that he got on mute. Please give me more information about this common partner in reverse that um, he's got on mute. Thank you so much. Give me guidance. I care too much about what others think right now. This person cares too much about what others think to engage with you anymore. And I just heard I care about what I think about my self. This person just told me I care too much about what others think about to be seen with you right now. And I care too much about what I think about myself. Like I said, this person is a negative, is a mirror to who Divine Masculine was. And I feel like because of this compromise that has to be made, that they've been thinking about reaching out to this comic person, but they stopped because this person affected their life significantly. And they said, dealing with you, karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. Wow. I told y'all, didn't I tell y'all? Wow, Slimmy. Wow, Slimmy. Whoever that karmic partner is that they just left, because I'm trying to tell you, they just left somebody because you can't go through this transitional period where you're overcoming these difficulties. It says the worst is now behind you. You you surmounted any previous challenge. The divine masculine has freed their self. And right now they, they are by their self thinking getting their mind together spiritually growing i feel like the divine masculine has been doing a lot of praying i feel like they've been doing a lot of crying don't think that men don't cry don't think that men don't cry because it's like when you know that you've made certain mistakes in your life and they they said karma is a bitch i finally got mine i finally got mine this karmic person affected their life in major ways do you hear me You've affected my life significantly, and I don't feel like it's in a good way if they're saying Carmen's a bitch and I got mine. He got everything that everything that he did in his magician in reverse energy that hurt other people's. He got everything back tenfold by this karmic person. And he wished that he don't want to, he don't, I feel like he, he, uh, he said, I don't, I don't want to see this person ever again in my life. He cares too much about what others think right now, about the decisions and the, and the things that he's doing. And he cares too much. He has to look at himself in the mirror. And when he looks himself in the mirror, he do not want to see you. 
He don't want to see anything that reminds him of this person, this comic person. He's thought about reaching out, but he didn't because there ain't no love there. It's like, why? I'm going to try to figure out this, com this compromise and shit that I got to do. It's a reluctant compromise. It's a reluctant compromise because it's not... It's, it's like out of obligation. It's not out of love. You know what I'm saying? It's not out of love. Karma is a bitch, and I finally got mine. Wow. Wow. Manipulation. I told you. This is what the, this is what the Divine Masculine is dealing with in the shadows. Warning. Whoa. Pitiful. Whoa. Manipulation. Warning. I feel like Divine Masculine, this is a warning that someone that... This is a warning. Someone's going to try to come and try to manipulate you, Divine Masculine. They're going to come with some excuses that you don't want to hear about something. And you looking at this person like they fucking pitiful, Divine Masculine. This must be this karmic person. Yeah, that there's a stagnant situation with right now. And you don't want to hear this person's excuses. What did this person do to you, Divine Masculine? And you're embarrassed about the situation with this person. Divine Masculine, what the hell did this person do to you? What did this person do to you? You don't want to hear none of these excuses. You feel like it's manipulation. You've already been warned spiritually about this motherfucker. you like, I'm not about to sink no more in a deep ass fucking hole dealing with you, bitch. You better get that fucking... I feel like in this manipulation, they feel like it's someone that is spiritually manipulating them like they're doing some type of fucking spells or rituals or something to kind of and i feel like that's the warning i feel like divine masculine there is someone whoever this karmic is might be doing some type of ritual or spell or some shit like that to kind of keep you bound to them or something but it's not working <laughs> it's not fucking working at all like bitch you can paint your nails black you can motherfucking go get pumpkins and burn candles in there and put fucking uh turtle blood in that bitch with some mirrors in there and shit if you want to bitch it ain't working okay okay so this is a sign like someone is doing something to try to manipulate your will okay Someone is doing something to try to manipulate your will. But you just look at them like you're pitiful. Like you would really sink that dark to try to control me. You're pitiful and I don't want to hear your excuses. I feel like the divine masculine might have walked up on some shit. And might have seen might have seen some bitches with a motherfucking rabbit skull and some motherfucking candles or something. Like bitch what the fuck? Oh no bitch. Someone already warned me about your crazy ass bitch. No. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Bitch, you pitiful. You were really... Okay, no. Mm-mm. Broop. Broop. Brot. Br brot. Bitch. Uh-uh. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. You see how this person got this thing? Only thing, they, only thing Divine Masculine is doing is seeing this person for who they are. They don't want to talk. They don't want to smell this person. They don't want to talk to this person. They just looking. They just looking. Looking at you with your looking ass, Okay? And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I feel like the Divine Master is embarrassed that they got mixed up with this fucking idiot. With this idiot. And I want to say, like, that's... That's what really triggered the Divine Masculine to step his spirituality up. Because he's like, this bitch is in here motherfucking burning pumpkins in my backyard and shit. Like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? fuck is this bitch doing? Like, let me, I'm gonna talk to God because I don't know what the fuck type of shit this motherfucking bitch is on. This bitch done been watching. She done been on YouTube too much. I don't know what the fuck this bitch tripping on. Okay? What the fuck? Give me some information about how to... Investigate, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so, this is... Oracle information about what's going on in the Divine Masculine's crazy world right now, okay? Messages of, messages for a rabbit. Services to the animal world, okay? Alright? I And you know what I'm getting? <laughs> I heard, you know what I just heard? I heard the Divine Masculine is just, he ain't saying shit. He's just sitting back watching how rats move. 
You know, like that's what I heard. I'm just watching how rats move. How rats move. Like, have you ever just like what what, what do they call it? Like a um What is it like when they be doing those little experiments and they be putting the rats in these little mazes and shit to see if they smart enough to kind of maneuver their way out of it or some shit like that or whatever, whatever. I feel like the divine masculine kind of put himself on a hangman type of thing where he he willingly removed himself from an element to look at things from a different perspective, from a different angle so that he can really have a keener eye and investigate. He's sitting back looking at this person in their rat ass nature. Like I don't think that this person has ever been that close to a fucking rat to actually see how they think, how they eat, how they hunt, how they bathe. And like Divine Masculine is looking at this bitch like, oh bitch, you eat your own kind. Like if you really get hungry enough, Oh, a rat won't, a, there's, a, a rat can chew through metal, like a rat will eat its own babies, like a rat will, like, you know, and I, I don't think that, he's like the, a rat sleeping, eating their own shit and piss, like, have you ever been near uh, someone's house and they got like a, 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 a rats in it, you know what I'm saying, you can kind of like smell which area the little rat little spaces at because it stink you know what I'm saying like I really do feel like on a high level and I'm sorry and as you can see I, I, I'm from Washington DC bitch oh, if you ain't never been around some northeast rats bitch if you ain't never been around no southeast rats bitch you ain't from no city bitch okay bitch we used to play in alleys and used to throw rocks and shit at rats bitch so listen I'm a hood bitch so I can talk to you about some city rats okay this nigga don't realize that he done got himself mixed up with a city rat. And to so whereas though, they might have thought that they was dealing with some rat bitches before. I don't think that they really, really dealt with no rat bitches like this type of rat bitch. And like, it's, I, I, I feel like Divine Masculine is like, oh, you are a peculiar little fucking creature. Like, <laughs> like I ain't never seen no bitch. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Girl, this says feeling bewildered by animals. I told you, making assumptions about animal behavior. Feeling you know about them, but missing the message they are sending you. Missing a beloved pet or a person. Uh, uh, hold on. Missing a beloved pet or closeness you once had. Feeling more drawn to people. Being um, sentimental about animals rather than truly understanding their actual needs and desires so like i said this person is respecting all kinds of natures right now because to whereas though they were running around chasing cute little bunny rabbits with cotton fur tails before you see what i'm saying and is a rabbit a rodent i guess it is but they kind of respect this type of rodent more than a rat you know what i'm saying because i don't think that they ever dealt with a creature of that kind and I, that's why i said that this person is feeling bewildered by learning about the animal kingdom now <laughs> it's just like what so like i know i uh, uh like i feel like they thought that they was dealing with a, a, a pretty cute a pretty cute rabbit at first because i feel like the person that they were with before was like this was the cute rabbit because in the upright this means animal communication a proximity to animals enjoying the company of animals and interest in animal behavior and symbology feeling drawn to animals more than human intuitively understanding their needs rather oh it says rewards of a friendship and closeness and trust so i feel like this high priestess that they were dealing with Let's put this on the animal spectrum. Okay? And I am going to put that on the animal spectrum because the high priestess is unlike any creature on this earth. This, this The high priestess understands and has a book and a manual to how this work moves and how it operates. They understand human nature. They understand plant nature. They understand the wind, the stars, the moon, the earth, the trees, the everything. 
everything that is living, moving, and breathing, the, 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 the galaxy, the planet. The high priestess understands stuff that is far beyond this galaxy. So to the divine masculine, this is a this is like a spiritual being, a spiritual preacher, creature that they've never seen before. And now they feel a little bit more uh, attracted to and curious. And they are investigating this high priestess nature. And they didn't even realize that this nature resides within them in their magician energy but they were just using it in the wrong way because they were fascinated by the wrong type of creatures do you get me when a divine feminine when a high priestess was in their realm they didn't respect it they didn't learn anything from her do you understand it wasn't until she left withdrew herself and he had to deal with rats rodents okay that he tried to do true investigation. He said, hold on. I'm not like these people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like these people. They are interesting to me. So I feel like the divine masculine, just like the divine feminine and high priestess energy, he is studying these creatures. Because he finds them in the way that they move and the way that they operate fascinating. And they have to learn about these creatures that they've been rolling in the mud with. You know? Because <laughs> they need to learn how to navigate this world around creatures like this. Do you see what I'm saying? You see this man in the back? You see him in the back? Mm-hmm. He's lurking. He's studying. You know? He's investigating, investigating, looking closely, ask questions, thinking before they act. So now the Divine Masculine is studying these rats. And like I said... He ain't speaking to this bitch. He don't want to hear no excuses. He's watching this motherfucker rat with its back against the wall and watching how it's chewing through metal. Watching. They have never seen a beast like this ever in their life. They saw him before I say anything. Anything to, you know, stir this creature up anymore. Let me just sit back and watch this motherfucker because I, I got to be smarter. I gotta be smarter. Cause like 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 that man said, oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Reverse. I mean the um I said reverse. Investigate. It says an important decision requires you to inquire information for yourself and to think it through and thoroughly. Find out as much as you can and look at the fine print. Okay? Hmm. Y'all are studying this creature. Y'all have never seen anything like this in your motherfucking life. Please give me some additional guidance for the Divine Masculine. In regards to them studying animal nature. And these bizarre creatures that he has never faced with or dealt with in their life. Please give me guidance. Give me guidance on this rabbit. What does it say? Judgment in reverse. Yup. Mm-hmm. Like I said, this person was the by masculine's karma. Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, yeah. She's yeah, she's most definitely a witch. She's been trying to conjure things and trying to, yeah, trying to balance you up. Mm-hmm. The King of Cups in reverse. Yep. The Wheel of Fortune. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yepity, yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. The Divine Masculine feels like him getting involved with this Queen of Wands in reverse was his karma. Like he said, karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. Yeah, he got his in the, in the form of this Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. And typically, the Queen of Wands is a very attractive woman. This woman ain't attractive. Okay? This Queen of Wands is not attractive. Okay? Like I said, I don't think that the Divine Masculine is even... He don't even look at... He don't... He don't... 
he doesn't understand why he got himself mixed up and involved with this person. He feels like it was a lack of judgment on his part. Not thinking and not looking and not investigating what he was dealing with before he got himself involved with this person. And now he realized not only is this person an evil fucking bitch, but this motherfucker got the audacity to be go conjuring up spells and trying to do hocus pocus and shit, trying to manipulate and conjure and play with my free will. <laughs> uh uh. This motherfucker bitch. It's trying to do anything. It's trying to do anything within her balance, within her power to balance me up. You know, this person wants to keep me in the loop. This person wants me to continue to try to do this balancing act. And right now, I feel like that's what the divine masculine feels like he's having to do is try to do this balancing act right here and as you as you can see the cups are selling away so there's no love there the cups are selling away and this is the king of cups in the reverse this person doesn't know how to express love to this person because they the love is gone and right now this person is having to do a balancing act with someone that they don't care about. They don't even know how to express. I don't even think the Divine Masculine knows how to express any type of empathy. Any type of... Uh, I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing. only thing the Divine Masculine is right now... I don't even think the Divine Masculine cares about how emotionally how he comes off to this person. Like He could be being very cold and very emotionally manipulating to this person as long as he gets what he wants out of the situation but really this person is just trying to figure out how to juggle dealing and having to work with this person because for some reason it's something where like I said they have to compromise and it might have something to do with children all right they have to do this balancing act with each other to compromise with each other and work with each other because Pinnacles is money. Pinnacles is time. Pinnacles is work. It's something that they both had to work on together. It's something that they both had to put time in and effort in together. And eggs creates babies. Incubation. So there could be a child in the midst with this bitch. This person that they're not even attracted to right now. They, they feel like they were a complete fucking clown. They feel like they're a clown. It's karma karma they don't feel shit about this person they don't know how to feel shit about this person it's a rocky emotional situation with this person and divine uh, masculine feels like ever since that they left the divine feminine and got mixed up with this person and the cards that they've been getting dealt is some fucked up shit this bitch has bought them nothing but bad karma and misfortune and they're embarrassed. They don't want to hear this person in excuses. I, you know what? I don't care. I was about to say I want to know what the hell did this person do to the divine masculine so bad? Like it's this person did something to the divine masculine. Whatever the hell divine masculine was doing to hurt other people's, I feel like this person did that shit to them. Cause they feel like they got their karma. With this person. But they're overcoming this shit. Divine Masculine secluded himself from dealing with this person. And they're thinking long and hard. I don't see the Divine Masculine talking to this person. I just see. I I, I just heard the Divine Masculine is watching this person on the internet. Yes, the Divine Masculine is getting his foundation together. He's getting his heart balanced. And he's getting his shit together. I just heard in my head. Divine Masculine is watching this bitch. Acting an immature complete rabbit ass fool um <laughs> rabbit ass fool isn't that's a rabbit on this car acting a complete rabbit ass fool on the internet acting like a fucking child and I, I i feel like the divine masculine does not want to be associated with this person at all at all i feel like this person is bitching on the internet heart chakra rebuild come on divine masculine come the fuck on out here Okay, base chakra. 
Because I think the other day, Divine mis Masculine was trying to move forward. What was it, the Divine Feminine? I don't fucking know. Clarity and belief. Yeah. New vitality. Come on now, Divine Masculine. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I am. Like I said, I'm part of y'all. Listen, right now y'all are balancing getting y'all heart chakra together and trying to rebuild yourself from the inside out, honey. You hear me? Do you hear me, sir? Do you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay? Can you hear me now? Divine Masculine is getting this heart together. I'm trying to tell you, Divine Masculine has gone through... Please do not think the Divine Feminines are the only ones going through this journey and the Divine Masculines is just over there just sticking his dick in any hole, just enjoying life and not experiencing and not dealing with none of his karma and not de no. Divine Masculine is going through his shit and he's going through this shit like a motherfucking king, young. He did do some fucked up shit, yes. But he's trying like he's fucking trying. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying. That's why he is taking his time now. I don't feel like Divine Masculine is coming to talk to nobody. He don't want to be with nobody. He is trying to get himself rooted. Rooted. Because like I said, he can't even look this woman in, in, in her eyes. Because he knows that she is the pearl. He's trying to get himself rooted and getting his clarity of his beliefs together. Do I really want to get married? Do I really want to be in a solid commitment? Am I ready for this? How can I get my own established foundation together? I, I need to get my own house. I need to get my own car. I need to be completely independent and, and, and solid on my own. They are rebuilding in a way that maybe they might might have never had a foundation and strong before. They are fucking rebuilding. But number one, it starts with getting it hard together. Because if they don't love themselves, how in the fuck can they express love healthily to anybody? Divine Masculine, just like Divine Feminine, had to go through a journey of self-love. That's what they're doing, baby. And they're getting themselves rooted in that. It's just taking a little bit of time because for men, it's a little bit different trying to learn a self-love journey. Because a lot of people, they be like, oh, that's gay. Slim, that's gay. You acting real gay right now. You acting real gay. No, fuck that shit. Ain't nothing gay about being happy, about loving yourself. Going through emotions. Why people act like men can't express emotions. That men can't cry. Men can't go through shit. Men go through shit. Men experience every color of the fucking rainbow. And have to get their self balance. And every color of the chakra alignment. That we have to. They are not exempt. And divine masculine is going through that. Because he is literally blowing the whistle. Because he want God to hear him. He wants spirit to hear him. He want divine feminine to fucking hear him this time. Because he ain't doing it for no, he ain't doing it for nobody but him. He's fucking tired. God, I feel like I'm a crying because y'all don't understand. Because I feel like the divine, like people don't understand him. And it's like they don't understand. Why do I feel like I'm about to cry? I feel like one. Well, it's like it's like cause it, I I've done so wrong. I've done so much wrong, and I'm trying to do things right, but people don't believe me. People don't see. You know what I'm saying? And it's just hard, and it unroots the divine masculine because they're trying. And it's like when you've been doing something and you've been in a way for so long, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. And <sighs> why did that just bring so much emotion out of me, Father God? <sighs> um, <sighs> give me some clarity in regards to balancing this heart chakra for the divine masculine. I feel a lot of sadness in the divine master's heart. I feel like he's been through a whole fucking lot. And he just needs some time to himself to think. Clarify. 
the fool. And yeah, he's moving forward in faith. The lovers. Ha! Two of cups. The lovers look. Oh. Yeah. Wow. 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 Divine masculine. He's moving forward. In his heart, he know. God, I feel like I'm going to cry. In his heart, he know. He know what he did. He pushed this woman down, and she's hurt. She's hurt. I don't even think that she's gotten up from what he did to her yet. You know what I'm saying? And he knows... You know, right now he's being guided by faith. I don't really think that he cares what anyone thinks, what anyone feels about him in regards to this situation with the person that he truly loves. And he knows if he reaches out to this person, then she's probably going to try to bite his head off. Because it's how he left her. I don't even think he turned around and reached his hand out to see if she needed help. He just left her. And even though that he knows... I might be a fool, but I'm being guided by my faith and my intuition. I know she's probably going to try to bite my head off, but I love her. I got to go try to pick her up. I love her. I love her. This is my true soulmate. And this is who God sent to me. That is my true love. When this person first came into my life, I don't, I didn't know what to do. I never experienced anything or been around someone like this before. So instead of me just accepting that cup, it's just like I kind of just stared at you and didn't really know how to appreciate what it was that you were offering me. But you are my soulmate, and I regret every day, every single fucking day, that I destroyed this union with my bullshit. This hurts him. This hurts him. This hurts him. I feel it. Like, I feel it. Like, I, I feel it so... Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Give me a, um, a card out of the rebel deck, please. Give me a card out of the rebel deck. I think that this reading was going to bring so much emotion out of me like this. Knowing that I think that this shit was going to be long like this. I don't even know how long I've been recording, man. Oh, my God. I need guidance. It says, you got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. God says right now, Divine Masculine, you're winning. You're exactly where you need to be. Continue. You in a good, listen. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Right behind you, you're winning. You hear me? What's this other one that came? Give zero no. fucks. Okay? This situation with this person, that you, that, that muted situation, give zero fucks. You were giving too many of a fuck about that situation. Give zero fucks. Don't give your energy to something that you know is draining you. You got a good thing going right now. Give zero fucks about shit that doesn't resonate with you no more. You hear me? Um, it's my last deck over here. And then we're out of here. Can you clarify this? You got a good thing going. Don't ruin it. And give zero fucks. You got a good thing going right now with this transition 
and I feel like you've been talking to a lot of people about your plan and about what you want and about where your heart is right now. And I feel like maybe some of your boys be clowning you will be like saying little dumb shit to you. And I feel like you know what you know. Divine masculine, you have to be in your skin alone at night. You know what will make you feel happy. You know where your heart lies. Don't give a fuck and stop talking to these people about this shit. Do they do they have a healthy relationship? Do they have a healthy marriage? Do they have a house? Do they have a home? Do they have what, what it is that you lost? If they didn't have a healthy environment, if they didn't have that healthy house, if they that's probably why that shit was ruined, probably because you talking to dumbass motherfuckers that was jealous and envious of what you had and is sitting back laughing and is happy because you lost that shit because they wanted you to be right where they at. Be careful of who you surrounding yourself with. Seven of Pentacles. Right now the Divine Masculine is planting a seed, okay? They are trying to grow a rose through concrete. All right. They have been really working on their foundation. They've been cleaning up their environment. All right. And right now they are waiting to get receive the fruits of their labor. It's like I feel like they're being patient right now. They've been putting a lot of hard work in and they're putting a lot of hard work in and they're being patient waiting for the fruits of their labors to come back to them so they can see the reward of all of the action and all of the effort that they've been putting in trying to change because they have been you know like they can't wait this person that they love i feel like they can't wait to reconnect with this person and kind of have that climatic moment where they can just like enjoy the fruits of each other's baskets <laughs> you know but right now the divine masculine is in this emperor reverse energy he's not ready yet he's not ready yet he's being patient with himself and i don't think that he's making the move into he's truly going to be that emperor in the upright when he knows that he can provide i honestly think right now um, with the divine masculine what it's about is him being able to stand up as the emperor and being able to come to the table with a foundation you know what i'm saying where he can truly protect her he can truly provide for her he could truly nurture her he could be the type of father that he needs to be to the children um everything like he he's not i don't think he's in he's he's not there yet yes they go to the chariot all right so like I said, he's being patient because, like I said, he's putting the work in spiritually, emotionally. All right. What was the Trinity? Mind, body and soul. You know, he's putting the work in mind, body and soul right now. You feel me? Mind, body and soul right now. He's putting that effort in right now because he wants all of his efforts to spiritually come back to him. He knows what he has to work on right now. He got to be a better father. He has to be a better provider. I feel like the Divine Masculine is looking for. I don't feel that he's going to come back to the person that he really loves until he gets a job that he knows where he can sustain their lifestyle and stuff. I don't feel like he wants his Divine Feminine to have to work hard. Like, you know, like... He wants to be able to take care of her. And right now he's not able to take care of her. Okay. Right now only thing he can do. I feel like is take care of her in a sexual way. In a passionate way. And he wants to be able to bring more to the table than that. Not only that. Like, like I'm trying to tell you, he wants to be able to protect her. You see, like he wants to be able to drive the, car the chariot while she sleeps and rests. I feel like in the relationship before that the Divine Feminine put in the majority of the work in the relationship. And I don't feel like he helped her with anything. I don't think that he helped her with anything. And not only that, I feel like eventually like the passion eventually faded away. He not coming back to you, baby, until he can provide, protect, nurture, and honor you like the goddess that you are. Because you know, he knows that 
His true divine feminine can see straight through that shit. He want to be a warrior. You know? A fighter. He wants to be able to fight. You know, that king of, the, the king of uh, wands, he wants to be a fighter. That's the, you know, the emperor too. They're fighters. They're warriors. They're protectors. They don't back down from no battles. You know? The king of wands is in good shape. He's fit. He's agile. He's able to jump up and just do whatever it is that he needs to do. The chariot. Look at him. He's allowing her to rest because she already put in all of the work. He's like, sleep, baby. I got this. I'm going to take care of you. I don't want you to worry about anything ever to fuck again. Ever. Ever. Ever again. He, he don't want God. I feel like I'm going to cry again. Why do I keep feeling like I'm going to cry? I feel like he's going to, he wants to put her in a position where she don't ever in her life, ever, ever, not ever in her life, ever again have to worry about anything. Mind, body, and soul. He want to be able to give himself to her mind, body, and soul. I feel like there's not another woman on this earth. That could get his eyes to leer towards her. There's not anything in this world spiritually other than Father God, which he feels like you've been brought to him specifically for him. That can uplift him spiritually like you do. There's not even someone as intelligent that could uplift his mind the way that you do. You just do it. And... He went through a lot to see that. Y'all gonna get married in that beach in the sand. Okay? It's gonna happen. Like he told you. I'm not the same anymore. And we will be together again. Just know that. He's overcoming difficulties. Okay? And, uh, yeah. It's a very emotional reading for me, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys very, very much. I love you guys very, very much. Hummingbird. <laughs> Sweetness is coming. I love you guys. Peace.